What's up guys? Hey, how are we doing? So unfortunately today I have a disgusting story. There's a lot of scumbags and people that I really think do some despicable things in this sport. And I'll be honest with you, I had no idea that it would come from this family and these people. Rich Taylor and X-Brand Goggles should be ashamed. A lot of people have been getting unsubscribed without them doing it. Please double check, make sure you're still subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the sponsors out of the way right now because I wanna tell this story uninterrupted. If you haven't checked out the Coach Rob podcast, the amateur podcast with Derek Harris and Coach Rob, where they teach you how to navigate the amateur development system, please check that out. It's a great listen. Derek Harris is really smart. We know Coach is a genius. But yeah, head over to the Coach Rob podcast and check that out. Epic Garage Designs. You will make your garage look phenomenal. Just add some slat wall. It's inexpensive. Start with slat wall and then add cabinets, flooring, and all the other stuff. But that slat wall, I'm telling you, you add that to your garage, you will thank me later. A couple of you already have, and I appreciate that. Ridestrap.com. This is a goggle company that truly cares about the industry, unlike the one X brand. So you might want to toss those X brand goggles in the garbage, burn them, whatever you want to do. But I wouldn't ever support that company again. And if you want to replace them, Hey, hit up Ride Strapped. It's Ride Strapped would never do anything like what X Brand is doing. Precision Transport. This is a trucking company that has high character. This is a family run trucking company. They have customer service, reasonable pricing. A lot of you guys have used them and everybody's come back saying, wow, thanks for directing me to Precision Transport. They're awesome. Hit up pretransport.com and the Madden family will dial you in. You need people like me so you can point your fingers. I say that's the bad guy. So the sport that we all love, motocross, supercross, dirt bike riding, one of our most precious commodities is riding areas, tracks. It is so difficult in the litigious America that we live in to keep these open and keep them profitable. They are so much work and any track owner will tell you it's hard Riders complain a lot. It's dusty. It's hard to find good flaggers. It's hard, hard to find good help. Sometimes the weather doesn't cooperate. They are not getting rich, but we need them so bad. I'm so thankful to anyone who runs a track. Even if you run it poorly, I thank you. I appreciate it. I keep the fact that they're still open means we have a place to ride. We have a place to groom the next generation of, of the sport. And it's so vital to the ecosystem, which makes what Rich Taylor, Zach Taylor, and X Brand Goggles did to LACR so egregious. They sued LACR in a frivolous lawsuit. And if you guys remember, last year they had to close in November. They could not get insurance because of a pending lawsuit. I had heard about this, I heard little pieces. I really hoped it would just go away or there was not truth to it. It's true. Unfortunately, uh, I'll break down the entire incident and how this happened. So LACR, the way I understood this is LA, and I might have some small facts wrong, but I'm gonna get you 99% of the way there on this story. But this isn't a court of law. I don't have to have all the details correct. There was an regional qualifier for Loretta Lynn's that was held at LACR. Zach Taylor had won a bunch of motos or done really well. And in one of the final motos, there was a tabletop and then into a berm. And this berm had a downslope of about 15 feet on the back of it. So it was a, one of those berms where you look at and you go, man, I don't want to go over that one. That one doesn't look bad. It doesn't look good. If you go over that, you're in big trouble. Well, Zach missed his break, shot over that, landed, and was injured pretty severely. Broken pelvis, probably a concussion. We've all seen this at the track. This is a risk that we accept. When we get to the track, you look at it, and a lot of times I'll look at stuff and go, okay, don't go over that berm, or be careful right here. And those are accepted risks that we take as motocrossers. This is not a safe sport. That's why I get so frustrated when people do dumb stuff. So Zach goes over the berm, lands, breaks his pelvis. That's horrific, right? That sucks. We're all disappointed. Nobody likes to see that, but we always see that at the track. It's pretty regular. It's part of the sport. It's a part of the sport that part of the reason we do this crazy sport is we enjoy the risk. We enjoy the fact that it takes a lot of guts to get out there on your motorcycle and absolutely send it. To add insult to injury, when Zach was laying on the ground, 
Rich came over when the medics were taking care of him and said, he's fine, put him on the golf cart. The medics disagreed. They said, no, 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 we think he's got a broken pelvis. They insisted, put him on the stretcher when his own father was saying, put him in the golf cart, he's fine. I don't know exactly how long after the incident, LACR was served a lawsuit from the Taylors, Zach Taylor in specifics, the son of Rich Taylor, owner of X brand goggles. So as this thing played out, like I said, I really hoped it would just go away, but it gets way, way worse. The insurance company offered to settle for 250,000, which is more, more than like, you shouldn't get 250, but they should have just taken that money, went away quietly, no problem. Instead, the Taylors dragged this out. This has been five years in the making where they've just dragged this out, costing well into almost a half a million in legal fees from the track, the insurance company. And what it's done is it's caused the insurance rates for all the tracks in California to go up. It's put everything that we love in jeopardy, all because their frivolous little lawsuit that comes down to a technicality. Now, the technicality that blew this thing out of the water and got the insurance company to actually settle was the waiver. We all sign waivers before we race, right? Apparently, Zach hadn't signed one. So the way I understand it is the waiver was signed at the first round, maybe an electronic waiver. I don't know exactly how they do those. And get this, Rich, at this time, Zach was injured. So Rich Taylor puts on Zach's gear, Zach's bike, goes out there, under the assumption of Zach's name, races the race, qualifies Zach into the, the regional so they can still go to Loretta Lynn's. You didn't hear that wrong. He disguised himself as his kid, signed the waiver as his kid, and raced as his kid. So when the track goes, hey, no, everybody that raced had a waiver signed. Well, it turns out since Rich signed the waiver as Zach, Zach hadn't signed it and he had turned 18 before the regional. So it made him an adult to where he had to sign his own waiver. And since Rich on the stand admitted to fraudulent activity where he signed someone else's name, then there was no waiver for Zach. That is the technicality that got this thing. This was dangerously close to shutting down LACR forever. They could not get insurance and it took them a long time and has cost them when they closed for those months in November last year, it was because they could not get insurance because of this lawsuit. Who knows how much money that cost them as far as operating and all the different costs that incur. It's just ugly. And for somebody who works in the industry like Rich Taylor and makes money off of riders and this whole ecosystem to destroy it at this level, I'm sorry. There's a lot of scumbags in this sport and I never would have expected Rich Taylor. Rich Taylor is a guy that has made a life in this industry. He raced as a longtime privateer. He was a representative for Smith Goggles because his dad was like the, the president or VP for the longest time. I always heard of him. He was always in magazines as a test rider. He's had a very, very successful career in this industry and for him to turn his back on it and frivolously sue a hardworking track to me is disgusting. I will never support Rich Taylor or X brand goggles ever again. And I don't think you guys should either. You got to make that decision for yourself, but I strongly recommend we let them know this, this type of behavior is not what we do in this sport. And the only reason these scumbags are allowed to exist is because other people won't talk about it. I'm not the only one that knows about this. All the other media outlets know about this. This is not some inside scoop that I got. I honestly didn't want to talk about it and it's hard because the times that I've met Rich, I liked him. I think he's a very personable guy. He's very, he's done a lot as far as in this industry. So I didn't want to blast him until I was 100% for sure that this is what happened. And after the court case has come out, I've looked into it. This is exactly what happened. And they got claiming that there was permanent damage and that Zach was disabled. Well, just head over to Zach's Instagram. Does that look disabled to you? Jumping the mountain bike, uh, golfing. Um, the kid looks, he's probably gonna have some long-term effects from the injury, like all of us do from all of our injuries because we race dirt bikes. Anyway, guys, this is a video I didn't want to make, but I felt obligated to make this video 
because we can't allow people like this to exist in our space. And when they do stuff like this, we have to call them out. This is disgusting. It's one of the worst things that I've seen an industry, a respected industry and company in the sport do to damage and destroy it on the most, on the most crucial level. The fragile part of this whole motocross ecosystem is riding areas and for them to take a frivolous lawsuit after they lied and cheated trying to qualify for an amateur race, just, I, I'm sorry, I don't even, I can't even express the disgust that I feel right now. Anyway, guys, that's all I got on this, but share it out, let people know, don't buy X-Brand goggles, don't support those people, don't support the people that destroy the sport that we love. Thanks, guys. Later.